and you're welcome back so i know you expected this because we started this last week on hard bay we started you know talking about spicing up your relationship and i thought to put it in the best context which is marriage because i believe you have no business spicing up any relationship that does not fall within the confines of marriage yeah absolutely and I, my guests are nodding their heads so they agree with me all right so yes you're welcome back it's hard bay now we'll continue this is a, a part two perhaps we can even wrap up um on this topic spicing up your relation your marriage but we're specifically you know going to intimacy and sex you know and the like so um i guess this morning ogochuku in weke he is with a marriage clinic um i interviewed him yes ago about a book you authored yes, yes i remember yeah yeah before you get married yeah. you you really like marriage and then <laughs> ama sari is a counselor she's yeah. with healthy minds consult um mr samuel you yes, yeah. yes 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 tell him i said hi it's been a while okay yeah all right so you're, you're welcome thank and you. you you of course you you had my introduction yeah. i think that um the law of diminishing returns is applicable um in every situation that's right except perhaps in your fellowship with the holy spirit because mm -hmm. the more you know him the more you want to know him yeah. but outside that you know you're you're eating something for so long you know the same way you know over the years, your, your, your desire for that thing will dwindle. So this applies to marriage too, doesn't it, Ogo? Well. <laughs> <laughs> your wife is watching you as a married man, so now you're careful what your answer will be. No, yeah, but I, I think love grows. Love does not diminish. Love grows. Okay. But there are so many... As love grows, does mm -hmm. it grow with intimacy and, you know... It, it does, and a, it should and grow the sexual with intimacy. Pleasures. Yes, and the sexual pleasures. The thing is that most of the times we get carried away with the realities of life and our inability to balance ourselves when those realities, you know, hit us. Okay, so we, we, we tend to want to spend more time doing other things. And in the process, the demands and the expectations, you know, of our spouses, yes. you know, become an issue for them you know the struggles now begin and it, we, we just keep saying to ourselves we'll deal with it we'll deal with it before yeah. you know it it's become an issue okay. in the relationship okay. and so and so i think that couples you know once we are re realistic about your expectations you know that this is happening and because of it a b c d cannot happen at this time you know the thing to do will be to restructure you know and create that balance and and keep it growing yeah so Auntie Emma, like he's saying i mean a couple could get caught up in the the whirlwind of activities you know the pressures of life mm -hmm. when kids you know come in etc and you know so it's only understandable that it would diminish you know the you know the That's sexual right. excitement and intimacy it's understandable but when should a couple be alarmed when should a couple say mm -mm, something is wrong with us uh, most of the time you have to have communication and along the line, when it's going down, you realize it. Yeah. He doesn't have enough time. He goes very early and then comes very late. Sometimes when he comes late, he doesn't even eat. Because sometimes when he comes early, you sit with him whilst he's eating, talking and having some conversations. So along the line, you realize that even your sexual uh, intimacy, if like it's a month, once a month, it goes like three months, once three months or six <laughs> months. And then, there and then, you can easily, because when it's coming, you realize it, that the attention or the communication or the friendship between you people is going away. Because you concentrate more on your job, running around, and other things. Yeah. So I think the women, we see it earlier. Yes. We, but we when, 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 when should the alarm bells ring? When should they trigger? Uh, you shouldn't wait too long. Yes. The moment it strikes you, because yes, we are body, spirit, and soul. So yeah. the moment you have some quickening, that no, my husband is not talking to, uh, like, lately he's not talking so much with me, yeah. having conversations. So you have to be alert, alerted, and, and then you know how to close up. Yeah. Because sometimes we leave it to go, and then for months, years, then that is when we are going to talk about it. Meanwhile, it has gone down into the roots. Yeah. So come, bringing it up, will be a problem. So All I right. think, yes, we have to really open our eyes wide and then put things together all the time so that we grow the marriage okay yes so you're saying that love grows yeah and i was wondering if well love would grow with with intimacy and sexual desire and mm -hmm. pleasures you know and all well again how how do you know that your 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 love is not growing in that sense i think the first the first thing that 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 happens is is that couples ought to first understand that they ought to be friends now when you're not friends you know that's 
forgive me, but that's when yeah. sex is on a timetable. I don't think sex should be on a timetable. So oh. once a month, twice a month, okay, okay, we haven't had it this week and all of that. It should be spontaneous. And when you are dealing with your friend, a lot of things, it's about communication, that's a lot right. of things are spontaneous, you know, and it just continues to flow. So even though you've missed a certain moment, you would notice that because you are friends, you will always find a way to make it up. Mm. You know, and so we shouldn't allow ourselves to make excuses and feed people's ambition, mm. okay, in our relationships, mm. but we must provide support, mm. okay. So I should be able to understand that my wife has had a very long day, okay, you know, and she doesn't have to say it, but it is communicated. I can say she's very tired, okay. That would not be the time to demand sex, or if I have to make that move, yeah. then I have to help her in the kitchen, yeah, because we're friends, right? Okay, I shouldn't say, okay, finish cooking and then still come, okay. You know, make we, so I like, so, I like, I like. That uh -huh. the angle so intimacy actually is not does not only start in the bedroom you no, can start from outside it's a yes it's, it's friendship okay it's friendship okay. and so everything factors into it uh, but i think those are it. those are under <clears throat> the simpler circumstances because i think they're more dire situations where um you'd find that a husband for instance does not find his wife attractive anymore or even vice versa a wife does not find her husband attractive anymore and so there isn't that yearning you know for for that intimacy for that for for sex in in such a dire situation huh, what <laughs> on earth can they do do you really have to talk it's communication as i say and you have to try and um uh, try and have that continuous courtship in their marriage it really helps and as that uh, my brother said if you are friends there are certain things you will never overlook when the moment it starts you notice your signals you will notice it easily. So I think some of the ladies would decide to keep quiet, look at the man, go in, out, in, so, out. So, Auntie Emma, so, I mean, God forbid, not you, but someone's husband says, um, I, look, truth be told, you know we're friends, right? Okay. Yes. I love you all. <laughs> but, um, you know, you just don't look attractive anymore. I, I, I don't get, you know, the... The, 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 the desire to touch you now and what, what do you do? Let's, you know, very practical. I, I would talk to him. My weight, okay, then help me out. Help me. Either we go for a walk in the morning because I sacrifice my body and my life to have our babies. Hmm. When you saw me, I wasn't like this. It was a I big, like how you did it. Yeah, <laughs> it was a big sacrifice. That's true. Medically true, and true. all that with drapes, medicines and all that. Yeah. Oh, if you are uh, someone who has that body type you yeah. you have weight a uh, 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 weight problem yeah. so you help me out <laughs> and a husband who is ready to be in the marriage and yeah. knows your worth and the uh, the family means so much to him will 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 agree okay. and even if he doesn't have time he can even pay for you to go for a gym class okay just to go uh, I, I would prefer cosmetic surgery but yes yeah. and then you t <laughs> you you ask you have to ask your husband what what makes you okay come around okay so okay. maybe your okay. hairstyle okay or the way you dress yeah those times okay you so, see, so you be blunt and talk about that's yes, right what's causing it okay yes, but I, now let's I, let's, I like let's, let's 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 know let's, let's go up <laughs> further let's perhaps you can give us some tips we have to go now you can give us some tips on what you know what you can do to spice up um, the last the last um panelist i had last week you know one one intimated <laughs> mentioned that you could go online and learn you know perhaps new um Skills and styles, sex positions, read books. I, I am, I have my qualms it's about that because I'm not, I'm not, I don't think it's right for a man to have to look at another woman do something before Precisely. he can get it up. Precisely. I think that's that's a big problem. Precisely. But what are the tips you can offer? I think, I think that the, the tips. Give are me some. Be romantic. Basic. Let me see the romantic no, side no, of you. No, I think, I think they're very basic. It's not about how romantic one is, you know, or not. Because the truth of the matter is that something cost it, and until you address what cost it. You won't be able to walk away now okay. it could be it could be the information we're feeding ourselves with yeah. like what you you know any man that gives himself to pornography yeah okay will want his wife to do something like that or any sure. woman you know because that's the image in your head right okay so whatever it is you're fantasizing about is what is causing your grief right okay it could also be the fact that you haven't healed you know concerning something that happened what if you i mean you, you have a so, beautiful marriage you just want to um you know just spice up the sex life you, you have a beautiful marriage you only want to do something different so, something so 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 learn to be adventurous you don't you don't need pornography to be okay. adventurous once you use, connect, use your imagination you go wild and, yes okay go wild but don't go perverse 
Okay, no, of okay, course. Yes, okay, you know, but, but but you can allow yourself to, and not two marriages But are then the what's same. your idea of perverse? Because, you know, it, it depends on the two and what they you agree. You want me to say? What they agree to okay. do? Yes, yes, because I think that it's 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 um, it's a matter of what the, the couple um, agree on. You may, it, you may, you may say it's perverse, but they may find it okay. And in the U.S., we have swing couples. Of course, I'm a Christian, so I debunk that. <laughs> but you have couples who allow their partners to go sleep with other people, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know. So, um, f first, I, 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 I had to deal with a couple that, yeah. you know, the man, the man is happy to just sit down and watch his wife use a sex toy yeah. on herself that she squirts. Yeah. Okay? I thought that was very extreme. Yeah. And, and then, when you use pornography to spice But what could his... be wrong with that? It's his wife, right? No. And but... sex toys should be allowed in a marriage. No, no, no. Or is it wrong? Is See, it... I, I don't think, it's, it's just like, it's just like yeah. a woman saying it's all right if, if it's my husband that calls me a bitch. I don't think you should allow yourself to be treated less than who you are. Oh. You are a person. You okay. shouldn't be less than a person. Okay. And once you've become an object, okay, it, it's it's wrong. I see. Yeah, it's perverse. And it's not now acceptable. I have to go. Look, I'm, I'm thinking, should we do a third part of this? Okay, but Auntie Emma, there's a program, Love Reconnect, yes. that you're organizing. Yes. Tell us about it, just uh, 30 it's seconds. It's all about what we are discussing. Yeah. Marriage, divorces, heartbreaks, and all that. And we are going to have it at the Nut Hall. This is Workers College. Okay. And our number is uh, yeah. 0268 775234. Okay. 0268 775234. Uh, there are clinical psychologists. Uh, counselors okay. there. The first section, we'll have the talks with these uh, men who yeah. are going to give us all the areas, okay. different areas. And okay. then the second segment, we'll have uh, uh, people to come and then okay. we so attend it's an opportunity to, them. to yeah. reconnect that your love. That is tomorrow. Okay. 11 Rekindle a. your love. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, okay. Amar Sari, counselor. Okay. She's with Healthy Minds um, okay. Consult. And then Oguchuku Nweke, um, who is with Marriage Clinic. We, we should do this again. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> we'll be back shortly.